Hello everyone. Glad to see you all again. It's hard to believe that it's already September 22nd. This month is just flying by. Um, I think we'll start off first of all. I'm going to show you this is my second set of shelves that I've put up this year with lights. So I've been able to take some of my trees from my original set of shelves and put a few of them over here plus some new ones and other plants and things so that defi definitely leaves some room for my new seedlings that I got this year or that I started and some other plants also so yeah it's working out great and I've even got a little bit of room left on the bottom shelf and the top shelf for you know <laughs> If I happen to pick up a couple more here and there. So, anyways, if we spin around here, you can see my original set of shelves over here. Uh, most of my seedlings are on the bottom shelf, along with my younger K pop trees. And my younger bonsai up on the top. So yeah, uh, today we're going to be working on a couple of trees. Uh, before we get started, I want to take you guys out in the backyard and show you, give you guys a bit of an update on the apple tree. My uh, pre-apple bonsai that we pruned back about, uh, boy it's been close to two months now. I believe it was... Uh, July 28th when we pruned that. I was just looking at the date yesterday and I believe yeah it's July 28th so it's hard to believe. So yeah it has uh, poured on the growth in the last month which is great. Last month and a bit, month and a half or so. And uh, yeah you, you'll see the growth on it. We got a fair bit on the top and even some on the bottom. Um, much of it I really don't want but we're gonna leave it on there and let it harden up for the winter time and let it get ready for its dormancy period and uh, you know we'll look at it again in the spring so I'll go show you that now before we get started on a couple of trees here here it is on the bench over here You can see we've gotten a lot of growth back on it. Uh, I know it's a little hard to see with all the other greenery in behind it. You can see here it's come back a lot. Yeah, so that's green. I'm happy with that. And we're going to leave it nice and shaggy like this until the springtime. We're just going to let things harden off now. And uh, in another month the leaves will be falling off of it. And in, in December, sometime in December we'll take it into the garage to help protect it from the uh, really cold months in January and February. Yeah, we not only got some a fair bit of newer growth on the top, but also on the bottom. So yeah, that's quite fabulous. I mean, I don't really want that newer growth on the bottom, but you know, that's okay for now. At least I know it's healthy. Yeah, that's great. I'm pleased with that. Okay, so we're going to look at working on my small azalea. What I'd like to do is take it out of this uh, smaller plastic nursery style pot and put it into this ceramic bonsai pot. Uh, this will be its first styling. So we'll be working on the roots and the top 
and uh, just because of the, the natural way it's growing right now I thought that I could make a, uh, a decent looking cascade with it so I'm gonna give it a try and we'll see what happens it's a beautiful day out today I think I'm gonna take this and go outside it's much nicer than in here that's for sure so yeah let's go outside and uh, let's pot this up okay so here we are outside now Uh, looking at this, if I put the uh, tree behind its new pot on a little bit more of an angle, you can see how that's gonna that's gonna work pretty good. It's not gonna be on a on a large angle, but a little bit. So yeah, that'll end up looking pretty good. And if it ends up growing longer down here or much longer and wants to touch the table that it's on I can either always put it in a taller pot or I can build a little wooden stand for the bottom of it that would be pretty cool so anyways for now we're gonna put it in this pot because that's what I have okay first of all I just want to take a look at what I have. Of course, if we start at the bottom here, we have our main trunk. And as it comes up, uh, there is a thicker trunk that's coming up here that I'm going to get rid of. there's a series of trunks that come off of the main trunk around this same area so I think I'm gonna get rid of this one here first because I also want to keep this as a small bonsai and not a large one yeah so we're gonna take this off because it's in the it's actually in the way of things here anyways There we go. Take these other smaller smaller growth off. Up here you can see we've got two two smaller branches coming out near the top. turn this and look at things from up here this one this one one of them is actually coming off of this branch here that we're going to be using as part of our cascade we're going to take this one off in front of it for now So you can see here, here's a good example actually. You can see here where the trunk comes up and we got some inverse taper going on here, kind of bulging because of all these branches coming out in one spot. So it's a good thing we're working on it now before it gets even worse. Now I'm going to come in here and do a better job of removing the bottom of that branch
Yeah, that already looks a little bit better. Gets rid of a little bit of our inverse taper there. I can take just a little bit more off of more off the trunk inside here. There we go. That's better. Okay, now we're going to get rid of we're going to get rid of these other two smaller ones here. And we're also going to get rid of the one that comes off the front of this branch here, I believe. Yeah, we're going to get rid of this before we get more bulging going on up in here. I'm wondering if I remove both of those. Yep, I think that's the thing to do here. Removing both of those and we'll develop more on this branch here. Develop more up here and we'll develop more growth up over here also as this grows. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take this off and we're actually going to come in do a bigger cut and we're going to remove this also. Just going to clean things up here a little bit. I think what we'll do is we'll leave this little branch on the back here. I don't see it too much in the future plans, but I think we'll leave it there. To see if this branch will will in fact survive and start to develop more growth up on the top here. If something happens to this branch, I'll have this one to work with, you know, over like the next year or two. So I'm just going to leave leave him there for now. Now if we move up here we have some more branching coming off of this trunk Too many coming out of the out of one spot here. It's looking pretty bare right now, but we did have to remove these branches down here to get rid of this, you know, further bulging 
or this inverse taper here in the trunk it just would have gotten a lot worse now I would like to continue this trunk up vertically here and get get some growth happening up in here like in the future and get some more happening back up here so I think for now we're gonna leave things the way they are um, I'd really like to cut one of these off but for right now at least for the next uh, year or so if one of these doesn't make it I've got another one here that uh, you know one of the two that'll carry on here so we can get a, a canopy going up in here this here we're just gonna take this and we're just gonna cut those back And we'll come in here and basically just take the tips off of these. It's going to be easier if I put this down. This was blooming all summer long and it actually just, uh, the last two blooms that it had uh, died and just fell off not too long ago actually so it uh, it really liked it in that partial shade that it had underneath my peach tree and I was reading that these naturally grow very well under other trees so okay well it doesn't look very good <laughs> but But for the way I want to style the tree, I uh, I had to do what I had to do. So I still don't like it with these with these two branches almost side by side here. I really wanted to keep keep at least one of them here to start to grow somewhat of a canopy up here off of that trunk. Yeah, you know what, we're just going to go ahead and keep these two for now, and we'll just see what comes about of them. So if they, grow, if they both start growing really healthy, we'll, uh, we'll just end up getting rid of one before we start getting any bulging going on here. So I think we can leave those going. We'll easily find out more about what we're going to do with it next year. We'll let this grow at least another year. Okay, well, I think we're done uh, taking off as much as we want to take off right now. Let's take it out and look at the roots. Boy, is it ever in there.
lot of bikes out today. I guess they're out enjoying what would be one of their last nice days out on their bikes. Yeah, there's a lot of roots in there. Well, I'm going to go wash this out, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back from cleaning the roots out, and, uh, boy, it took actually a little bit to uh, sort them out. Um, there were some larger chunks of soil that were actually stuck way up inside here. Over time, the roots really just kind of... <laughs> They kind of grew over them and swallowed them and yeah so they were really hard to get it up in here. So uh, just from getting those out and cleaning them out and trying to sort things out here I've already uh, taken out a number of the roots just doing that so we'll see what we're left with here. The lighting doesn't look too good in here and I don't I don't know why. Maybe it's because our sun is behind one of my trees over here. Anyways, however, let's uh let's start with this side of the tree. If we look down at the roots here, we have one that's coming down and off at a an angle here. We have a root growing up in the air. Straight up here, so we'll take that off. Got some growing down here. Actually, you can see here where this root comes down and then goes off at a strange angle. It's got another small root coming off the bottom of it, so we're actually just going to cut it off right where it starts to take off on an angle. And hopefully it'll continue growing out and then down here. The next one here you can see it comes out and it's pretty nice actually. It comes out but then it goes straight down. We're going to cut it off. There. This one here is the same thing, it kind of really takes off at a strange angle, so we're going to take it off. Now if we come over to the other side, we have another one that comes up and out at a strange angle. So we're going to cut it off. This one here comes out and does not too bad, but then it takes right off at the bottom. I'm thinking I'm going to try and leave. Oh no! It uh, well that one's already broken off anyway, so we're just gonna we're gonna nip it right back here where it's kind of broken off. Now if we look underneath here, we have one that's growing straight down. And we're going to take it off. There we go.
I think that one there we can kind of straighten that one out. It'll end up being a little bit better. All I'm going to do is shorten it for now. There we go. And I think the rest is looking pretty good. I could make a couple other corrections, but um, if I do that, it's going to leave very little roots and feeder roots on this, and I really don't want to be taking off much more than I have already. But that's not bad, though. We've gotten the majority of our problems cut off. Now the one thing I will do here is I'm, I'm going to cut this. I'll just take that one off there. There we go. I think that still leaves us in fairly decent shape. Okay, well, let's pot it up. Okay, in this pot, I'm just going to leave it go for now because well, it's already there. Uh, there's a, a little plastic screen in there and some wire on the back holding it in. So I'm just going to go with it for now because it's already in there. I don't need to cut a piece of screen up then, I guess. So we're just going to put some soil in there. Well, our small azalea has a lot of developing to do. However, I'd still like to find a, a front for it and position the tree in such a way that I am going to enjoy it as it does develop. I can always change it on the next repot. But I just think, why not enjoy, enjoy my trees? every step of the way while they're growing. I think for now that's gonna that's gonna do quite well here. And give you guys a uh, better view in just a minute here when I get some more soil on here. I'm not so sure if I'm going to need a rock or not. I may. I think I will. You know what? I forgot my turntable. Okay, well, I'm going to... I'll try and turn it the best I can to give you guys a good view of the tree here from a better plane here. Okay, so here we are inside. Um, I knew I had two or three smaller rocks that would be good for this occasion. And this one, this one kind of suits the planting. It even kind of goes good with the uh, with the color that's on the trunk in our soil and pot. So it doesn't look too bad in there actually. So yeah, the, the tree is uh, pretty firm in the pot with that little rock on there, so we'll keep that there for probably at least one or two months. So here's what it looks like. So this is my first cascade. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. It doesn't look like much yet, but I mean, you know, this is a uh, this is the first styling, and the way I envision 
this tree in the future. Yeah, it's got a long ways to go, but I'm going to have a lot of fun getting there. So the way I've uh, potted it, it's just up off the table. We'll try and keep it that way for now. I don't think I really want it going a whole lot lower than what it is. We'll see where the future takes us all, but... Yeah, so I'm, I'm quite excited about it, actually. Yeah, that's perfect. I wasn't quite sure how to style this tree for about maybe almost the last year or so. Every time I looked at it, I tried to think about it, and I could come up with a few different ways of styling it. And every time I went to style it away, I, I kind of changed my mind. I was going to, uh, really I was going to grow it upright, but uh, I don't know, the way it was just growing naturally, it was just calling for a cascade, I think. Well, we're going to go ahead and just give it some more water now. I gave it some just before we brought it in. We'll give it a little bit more before I put it back up on the shelf for the night. There we go. That should be lots for now. Well, that's it for today, guys. Have a great day.